Papus Whooper. Hi, welcome to Whoopa Golf. Today we're back at Hauger Golf Club, 20 kilometres north of Oslo, to see what this championship course can offer us on the back nine. This course was once voted the best course in Norway by Golf Digest USA. So let's take a peek and see what this course is all about. It's a tick! So here we're starting off at the 10th hole. It's a uh, Generally flat, well downhill, sort of slight valley. Three hundred and thirty five meter par four, obviously going with the driver. Slight fade, but it should be okay. So here we are, second shot. We've got roughly 70 meters to the pin. So I'm just going to go with the 60 degree lob. Always replace your divots. Sneaked up. Passed by a window, I saw the light was shining through. I saw the light was shining through. That's par. Bit of a, yeah, bit of a weird wedge. Just caught it a bit chunky, came up well short, struggled with the first putt, but solid clutch putt for par. <laughs> So, 11th hole here at Hauger, par 4, 370 metres, 400, just shy of 410 yards. It's very much a sort of valley hole with heading uphill to the green. Plan of attack, aim down the left and let the ball swing down, run down to the right into the centre of the fairway. Let's see if it happens. Hit it just a touch high, but still centre of the fairway should leave me about 150 metres, 165 yards uphill to the pin. So I've left myself around about 135 metres for my second shot uphill. I'm going with an 8 iron. Tell you something, that is right at it. That's decent. So suppose the point of this exercise is to see, can we actually have a stress-free round of golf and stop the brain farts, the nuclear meltdowns that go off between the ears and just focus on golf? So here was me thinking that was actually a decent shot. <laughs> I've actually hit it. I don't know. 25, 30 foot past the pin. So anyway, this is now a very tricky downhill birdie putt and I'll be doing well to get up and down well two putt it was the same old story over and over again oh the 
line was good, the line was good. As I said, the weight, that's a very slow putt down there somehow. Get in, par save. Really got to get to grips with these first putts. There's nothing out here stressing me. Hardly anybody in the course. Let's just focus and let's just try and get round here in a decent score. So the 12th hole here at Hauger, 175 meter par three. So that's 190 plus yards, but the problem is the ground's that soft, you have to carry this ball all the way. You basically got to land it by the green, or on the green I should say. So I'm going with a four iron, just to land it because it'll stop pretty quick. But still, not bad. As I said, carried it all the way and that stopped quick. So a tee shot there, as it worked out, it's pretty good. Draw, into the green, stop very quick. I've got about a 20 footer here for birdie. Now that's what you call a swinger. Full Willie. 153 meters, seven iron. After that distraction on the fairway, the bogey. Now there we go, out of nowhere I get my first bogey. Ask yourself why did I get that bogey? Because when I'm putting on the 12th green a guy appears from nowhere, tees off in the 13th and away he goes. Just jumps in in front of me. Starts to get the heat up, the sweat up, lose concentration, bogey. But anyway let's get back to it. 14th tee, par 5, downhill.
I have to hit the fairway to have a chance of hitting this green in two. That is massive, in fact. <laughs> So after hitting a 268 metre drive, just shy of the 300 yard mark, I am left with just under the 200 metres, 220 yards to the green. I'm going to go for it, 4 iron. Just followed you. <laughs> Has he recovered? Now, bit of a recovery there. Got myself back into, well, going for birdie. Outside chance of a birdie, downhill, bendy, swinger. Uh, 25 foot. Oh, that was close. And all your candles burned out one by one Not well, another par Heading on to the 15th So, moving on, 15th tee A very long uphill par 4 sitting here 410 metres to the middle of the green. It's around the 450 yard mark, but it's uphill. Into the wind, this hole is phenomenal. I have smashed driver, driver, and still been short by 50 metres. But anyway, most important thing, hit this fairway, get past the bunker on the left hand side, and then the green opens up. What have you done to me, baby? So, what happened there? Started concentrating on the tractor more than the golf shop. Ended up skying it. I am now in deep trouble to get up here and, well, hit the green. And I don't think I can hit the green too. So, going to really require up and down skills, which lately have been non-existent. But anyway, let's see what happens. This is a very tricky putt. Decent. Got an outside chance at par. Right, left myself after that chip with a 10 footer for par. Bit of a slider, not too bad, but uphill. And it was in. Hit it. This just proves this is 100% down to interference. The guy cutting across from me, the tractor in front of me, the two bogeys I have made is when it's not been stress free. 
So now we're at the 16th hole at Hauger. Downhill, par 5, very reachable. You get the run down this fairway here. It's 459 metres, so that's over the 500 yard mark, but hit the fairway, the green is on. If you miss it, it's not. Quite a soft bounce there. As I keep mentioning, we've had a bit of rain lately in uh, Norway. Uh, anyway, let's measure it. Let's see what that was. I don't know if you can see that. It's only 238 meters. Yep, that soft bounce has taken away any chance I've got of hitting this green in two. So it's still got 220 yards. I mean, I don't like using rescue clubs, three woods. Four irons about as big as I go, so I'm just gonna hit an eight iron down the fairway and leave myself a wedge in and try and get my birdie. And as easy a swing that was, I might have hit that too far. I was running between the raindrops. Right, I'm really not sure I've practiced this shot enough to pull it off, but I'm going to try and pitch and run an eight iron up there to the pin. It's maybe a bit far to be doing this, but let's try. to be happy with that. After that 8 iron pitch and run, I've left myself 10 foot for birdie. Pretty straight, let's see. Don't you know just who I am? Don't you know just who I am? I promised I'd be back again. I promise I'll be back again. Wait up, wait up for a while. That's the birdie. Whoopa! Now we're back. Beautiful pup. So, as we come to the 17th hole, this is a par 3, uphill. You've basically got to go get this all the way up there. And it's going to be about 160 metres. But we've got a bit of whooper mentality going on after that birdie at the last. Let's see if we can keep this whooper momentum going. Five iron. And uh, I'm afraid, I think it's just a bit too long. Where you going? Oh dear, I left myself a 20 
how apt I'm doing a video on external factors that create annoyance, create stress. And I've got a guy sitting behind me having a business meeting beside the 18th tee. Let's see how this goes. So, after a disastrous bogey at the last hole, we come to the final, 18th, par four. It's round about the, let's have a look, we're 330 meters, 360 yards. Get over the bunkers, it's simple. Fall into the bunkers, it becomes difficult. I didn't hit that and I'm in the bunker. So after all that, I actually missed the bunker. We're approximately 90 metres from the pin. I'm just going to Mac Daddy, 54 degree. on a championship course on the back nine, par 36. Once voted Norway's best course by Golf Digest USA. I'm a happy, <laughs> I'm a euphoric. I think you see for yourself it's pretty comical and what affected me was the external factors that I've got no control over. The business meeting, the guy jumping in front of me at 13, the tractor coming up behind me when I was on the tee about to hit. External factors, they affected my score. Could I take three, four shots off that? 38? Possibly, but at the same time, as you saw, my putting saved me. You know there's crazy people Living in these parts Of course they'll fall 